What is going on guys? My name is Landside101. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another gameplay commentary. And today the gameplay we'll be taking a look at is a little league action in Black Ops 2. If you guys don't know what leagues are, leagues are the newest thing they put in Black Ops 2 and that's what I'm going to be talking about today in this commentary. Breaking down what's bad for them because this is a test trial. Hopefully somebody will see it, share it, and hopefully get the things fixed that I stated in this video. And anyways, I'm going to jump right into it. First, I'm going to break down the gameplay, and the gameplay is on the map. Actually, I have no clue what the map is. I do not know what the maps are in Black Ops 2 yet. I used a couple wide variety of guns in this gameplay, but it's actually a great gameplay. One thing that was bad about it is we got matched up against people in a tier higher than us, so it was a very hard-fought game, and I'm not going to tell you who won. It's a little mystery for the end. Watch to the end to see who won this action-packed game. It was extremely close at the end. Certain parts looks like one team was leading away. Like in the beginning, we start off 35-0. They creep back, and it gets insanely close towards the end. The ending is very, very close. Let's say a little 10, 10 to 15-point range of who wins, and it's actually an action-packed game. But anyways, guys, I'm going to jump right into it. And the first thing wrong with leagues is the matchmaking. The matchmaking in Black Ops 2 League is very poor, actually, because when you get in tiers, after you take your five ranking matches, you have to take five matches with your team that you have the team. You have to make a team, obviously, in the beginning, a league team. You get your four players. League teams are only up to four, so you'll see in this thing, it's kind of like team tactical gameplay. And it's pretty much just a mosh pit of random games when you go in. But anyways, your team, you get five placement games with your team, and if you win the game, you have to try and win all five of those games and we actually only won four out of the five games we sadly got demolished the fifth and final game of the league matchmaking the little uh thing in the beginning that you have and it was a very hard fought game once again but we did get they did pull away from us and they did obtain the win and it was kind of depressing but we carried on in the platinum division and you'll see that we're still currently in the platinum division ranked 25 in the world in the platinum division but anyways, we were going up against the Master Division, which is a tier higher than us. And I think that's absolutely ridiculous how they matchmake you with tiers that are higher than you. I thought in the beginning when I heard about these leagues that you matchmake with people in the same tier as you. Well, I guess that's not the case for leagues anymore. I hope they get this fixed because this is the trial version for leagues. I think the real stuff starts December 1st. So I hope they change that because I do not want to be versing people in the Masters. These people we were versing were all in the Masters, which is the highest tier you can get. So they won five out of their five of their placement games. And and that is pretty ridiculous and we were very hard fought, hard fought game and once again I do not think it's good that you have to play up against people that are a tier higher than you or even below you I think that's also dumb one other thing I want to state really shortly because I know Rusty Commander might make a commentary emphasizing on this problem in league is leaving the game when somebody leaves the game you can nobody else can join back in the game because it is a set game when you look in the pregame lobby you can see the other team the teams are set you cannot back out of the lobby which I think is really cool and so if you'll see a bunch of good guys you can't leave and when people look at us they can't leave either but when you leave in the game everybody else can leave except the last person and I think that is so stupid because we are going up against one guy the entire time because nobody else is matched make into the game which I think is reasonable and I think that's fair but I don't think anybody should be able to leave the game when you're in it I think the only way you can get out is by turning off your PS3 because obviously they can't prevent you from doing that but I think it's very dumb how they can leave one person in the game and I'm not going to go any further than that because I think Rusty Commander is planning on making a commentary emphasizing this problem in Black Ops 2 League play. The final thing I want to talk about in this commentary is how to succeed in League. Well, the first thing you want to build the team. Building the team is probably the most important thing in all of the League because if you build a team with a bunch of crappy people and you're playing with them all the time, it's not good at all and you'll most likely lose every game. You want to build a team with people you know in real life. That's a me, Rusty Commander, or Andrew, and Taste of Rambo, or Brian, and Mr. Whitey, or Nick is all playing in this and we all know each other from school and we're good friends and that's why we have t such good chemistry together and we have know all the call outs that we use and call outs is also a big part call out where you get killed call out where the enemies where they're camping call out th certain claymores tactical insertions you know you can't use tactical insertions in league but anyways call out things like that call outs are big in league once again like I said you need good chemistry with your teammates you want to know them you want to be pl be really familiar with their playing style what their strong points and what their weak points are no offense to rest commander but we make him cap the a flag and domination all the time it's 
when the rest of us just run towards B because the B flag is a big part in this league play and everybody fights for the B flag. So you want to send three people and only one person to cap the flag in the beginning. You want to send three people and all out of salt on B. Dolphin dive on that flag. And you want to try and get that flag. Because B is the hardest thing to get in this game. Whoever takes it first is most likely to keep it the whole round. And the next round, you want to try and get on that thing once again. Another thing me and my crew did is we all make classes for the set gameplays. You want to play League a little bit and get used to what gameplays there are. We know that there's hard point, capture the flag, search and destroy, demolition, and domination. And there might be other gameplays, we have not played it too much, but you want to make sure you know all of the gameplays so you can make classes for all of them. I have five custom classes, you won't be able to see it in this gameplay because this gameplay is recorded from theater mode. But I have five custom classes and they're all made for separate game types and they're all customly made for what game types. Because if you guys don't know, League, you can make any class, any gun, any perk, you have them all unlocked when you go into League. So that's a really cool thing they added to because nobody's really overpowering anybody with better guns and better perks and things like that. Another thing you want to do is make sure you work with good with kill streaks. If you have someone on your team who's really good at getting high kill streaks, make them run high kill streaks such as the Hellstorm missile and things of that nature so they can help you get off a flag. There's little stealth helicopters, VTO warships maybe, but you don't want to go too high with the kill streaks. You want to keep it simple and you want your whole team to run UAV, counter UAV, and third kill streak is up to you. But in my opinion, that is the best thing to do in league play because if you have counter UAVs and UAVs up the whole time, you're most likely going to win. Most people use ghosts in league, but once again, some people don't, and you have a huge advantage over the teams that don't use ghost. The third and final thing you want to make sure you do is use Flak Jacket for objective team-based games. Yes, I'm calling out a perk for one single thing to do, but using Flak Jacket is huge for games like Domination, even Search and Destroy. When you're running around, you don't want to die by those grenades, and you don't want to die by things like that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. Go check out the League Play. I have been mean, having a blast with my friends playing it. It is absolutely awesome anyways guys hit that like button if you enjoyed and possibly that subscribe button if you're new around here anyways guys remember to keep it elite